Behind the screens of social media sites from Twitter to YouTube, there are human beings, content moderators policing the boundaries of free expression. You always see death every single day. Sean Spiegel says he's haunted by his work as a moderator for Facebook, reviewing content that was often disturbing, graphic and violent. I have seen videos of a babysitter choking a toddler to death. His story is one of many in a new report from The Verge, focusing on Facebook moderators employed by Cognizant in Tampa, Florida. They want people to know what toll it takes on them. According to the report, the moderators make less than $30,000 a year and only get a nine-minute wellness break to see an on-site counselor. Many saying the job has caused mental health consequences, including post-traumatic stress disorder. Anxiety, depression, uh, loss of sleep, nightmares. Eventually, the hope is that human reviewers can be replaced with artificial intelligence, but the technology is simply not ready, and there's no room for error. Facebook users get really, really mad if you take down their post for the wrong reason, right? And they also get really, really mad if you leave up something horrible. A Facebook spokesperson responded, saying in part, we go to great lengths to support the people that do this important work and take any reports that we might not be doing enough incredibly seriously. Facebook announced changes in May, including additional benefits and higher wages for contractors. But some say it's not enough. All of us have to have some empathy, and that includes the companies. For those on the front lines against the dark forces of the Internet. Liz McLaughlin, NBC News.